Hey guys, Third Street Reactions here. We're back, I'm Shane. Zach. James. We're back here with Rick and Morty Season 4, Episode 8. The Bat of Acid, because the title's on it. I don't think that's a spoiler, really. There might be some acid in it. Let's we'll see. <laughs> Never done uh, The last episode we watched. By the way, guys, if you're joining us for the first time in a while, uh, I went into this taking these guys through it because I've seen almost everything. But up to this, up to last episode... I am now officially with these guys. I haven't seen anything. But also, you haven't been here in a while. What's up? Not much. Uh, just surviving, working. I uh, got a new job. And, uh, yeah, just trying to survive. Very good. Uh, do you remember what happened last time? Yeah, we had the face huggers. They landed on this planet. It was an awful thing. Morty and Rick escaped and got back home and then realized they left Summer <laughs> there because they had forgotten completely about it because they had been, uh, yeah. had been attached to these face-hugging sons of bitches. So yeah. they go back to rescue Summer, and they have to go through all the uh, rigmarole of in, you know, infiltrating the society again that they had actually inadvertently developed yeah. by their presence there. Yeah. And uh, kept these facehuggers from just attaching to people and blowing out their asses, mm -hmm. you know, 30 seconds later and reproducing. Yeah. They actually built a society within, what, a day. Yeah. Uh, was inter capable of intergalactic travel. Mm hmm And they were going to go to Earth. They're trying to dissuade them from knowing that. They find out they were imposters. Yeah. And they end up saving Summer and blowing up all their shit anyway. Yeah. We're just as bad as them. <laughs> we hate you even more. And they didn't want to go back. And it was like this uh, like two towers moment. <laughs> I mean, not two towers. I mean, there was this World, the World Trade, Trade Center moment and they also had Pearl Harbor. And they were going to blow up the, tw the Twin Towers. They said, no, we can do a Pearl Harbor, though. They blew up a little Pearl Harbor-looking place. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. No, it was a good one. It was funny, a little disturbing, but yeah, that's what we get with the show. Yeah. On to the next one. It should be in and out, simple exchange, not even really an adventure. And if anything goes wrong, which it won't, jump into the same vat of acid I jump into. Okay, wait, wait, what? What, what vat of acid? What, what part of a fake acid vat with built-in air supply and quick-release bones isn't inventive enough for you? And when did my job become pitching you ideas? All right, let's just do this. Man, you have to really trust... Yeah. Fuck yeah. They look like the rupees, and they make the same sound off the ones from Aladdin. I'll make lots of money the Super Nintendo these. game. Not the Sega Genesis. Let's just end it. Quick death. Come on. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing go wrong. Holy shit! What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! What kind of psycho? His own grandson. I don't want to lose a moment. Take your time, boss. We'll stay here as long as you want. Absolutely. I got nowhere to be. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was really cool, though. I don't I don't that know why I idea. really like that. Yeah. It's like fucking Batman. Well, just Tim Burton's Batman. It's been so long since I've seen it. Man. Fucking Jack Nicholson falls into one. I got the joke. Well, I do know that, and that's just that seems like such a horrible way. And then you think about you hear about all this stuff and. Particularly, I guess, like the Middle East, and acid used to torture. And it reminds me of um, this movie called Benicio del Toro and Josh Brolin. Sicario. Sicario, where he said they did that to his family. Yeah. It'd be fucking bad. It's night Oh, wow. Okay, I'd say that's pretty acidy. Drop him in. Whoa! Still got the diamonds. That wouldn't go wrong, Rick. That wouldn't go wrong. He looks pissed. Can we go? Admit it was a shitty idea. Having a grandson? That of fake <laughs> acid? Are you dying of dementia? How are you talking to me like this? When did you get so cocky? Tonight! Tonight, Rick! The night I saw you fail! Trying as hard as you can to hurt me right now proves my point. I'll let you know when you have a point, and the world will know when I try to hurt you. Big man, big genius, big lonely drunk. Save some of these atomic age beatnik zingers for your English homework, Bukowski. <laughs> I just talked about him. Yeah. Tom Bukowski. A device that lets you... Save your place like in a video game, but in real life so that you can try stuff and then go back to your save point. Yes, Morty, I saw it on Futurama. Oh, so you don't do anything unless it's original. I don't know how much fucking work would have to go into a machine uh, that... Uh, you can't do it! I can do anything. Morty, <laughs> your idea is not worth 
do it. Whoa! You won't say you can! Fuck you, Morty! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I failed. I can't make it. And honestly, I'm pretty ashamed. That might be why you're right. so aggressive you're right. about rejecting your ideas. Sick. Fake acid vat, Morty. Maybe I've lost it. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just kill you. What? Because I fucking did it! <laughs> Play the remote. Yeah. From the Adam Sandler. Click. Yeah, 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 click. Go nuts. Best grandpa ever! All I ever wanted to hear. It just makes you wonder, like, did they die? Is the person who reappears them? Who wants to do some math? I'll do it. Deliver. Oh, I've got something to deliver. <laughs> oh. God damn it, this is What's wrong with your dick? Hi, uh, hey, Jessica. Oh, hey, Morty. I thought you knew my name because we've interacted so many times, but yeah. maybe I was just being stupid. Sorry. Hi, I'm Jessica. That's me. Cool. Jessica. See you around. Yeah, I hope I see you around. Yes, we'll see. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> what the fuck? It's funny, though. <laughs> what? He looked like the Ticketmaster guy, though. the Tickets Please guy. He did, yeah. This picture. crashes and the walls are after this shit. shit. I was in love with the ending, but it was a cool movie. Well, here we go, folks. Was that movie Alive or whatever? There's a book called Alive. I haven't seen Oh, Lord. Other survivors? or I mean, obviously he wants to find the backpack. Enjoying where life's going right now. Yeah. Doesn't want to reset. <sighs> Fucking oh, Jerry! Motherfucker! Jerry, you son of a bitch. I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he <hit the> button. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Harambe. This is some anti Harambe undertones. <laughs> but I think you invented a little lesson for me along the way. Living without consequences is great, but then I started wondering what am I living for? What am I building? I'm always looking back. Wow, that's a beautiful thought, Morty, but uh, no, there were definitely consequences. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? I mean, you did everything you did, it all happened. No, but the, the respawn button. It wasn't so much a do-over as it was isolating a moment in time, splitting your probable selves, and shunting you into a near-duplicate, equally probable reality, transporting you into it at the moment of parallel determination. Pretty nifty. Time crystals are a bitch and a half. <laughs> That's right, you little bitch. It's the prestige. You prestige Rick yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> Or you can have fun. Did 
Did you have fun, Morty? Is this because of the vet? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> can make it so those Mortys never existed at all. Make them purely theoretical. Oh god, what do I do? I think it's clear you've done enough. Tell me how, Rick. Tell me how I save those Mortys. You live with the consequences. Those things happen somewhere, but you can merge. So you're not even my Rick? Then, then why do you know about the vat? Every Rick has a vat. <laughs> <laughs> Every Rick has a vat. Just having fun. So is Jeffrey Dahmer. Speaking of, <laughs> pay the piper. <laughs> Shit. What do I do? Ugh, well, I'm stumped. Seems like there's no way out of this one. Unless. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Uh... Say the bat is good. The bat is good. Kiss the bat. You're not going to that bat. It appears to be full of acid. It is. Please, he's just a little boy. Let me talk to him. Tell him we're very upset. <laughs> Return the whales. Oh, well, he's bones now. I guess all debts are paid. Agreed. He's definitely dead. Oh, all right, okay, this isn't a poetry reading. A kid just died. Everybody go home and hug your loved one or something. How do we know that's really acid and you didn't just have someone's bones in there? I mean, there? if you're doubting if that's really acid and not just jacuzzi-heated Mountain Dew, you're welcome to use this ladle. You think I'm a goddamn idiot? Brought my own. I'm acid proof. Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. I'm gonna be rich. Here's my ass. Take <laughs> 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 Alright, come on, Morty, let's go home. Wait, what? Th this isn't our reality? What, you think I'd waste our home teaching you a fucking lesson? Uh, I am gonna miss this place, though. Johnny Carson's still alive and on the air. Uh, besides the fact that he is uh, impervious to acid. So here he is. He's here to prove it. Let's welcome this guy. Let's do this shit! Now you're, uh, you're sure about this? Eat my ass! I did Boys, not know that ass was on the menu. Don't steal my moment! Do it! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, no! 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 Oh, Jesus! Looks like I'll be eating ass flambe. Guys, that was a reaction, and this is our discussion. That was... Later. It was a great episode. Mm -hmm. Every Rick has a vat. Yeah. I like that line. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is when he did the automatic park thing, I remember thinking, I don't think Rick would be easily impressed with that based on what we know about Rick. Yeah. But maybe it's because he came up with the idea mm. and maybe there's something we don't know about when it comes to the technology of his spaceship. Where it might be harder to do that, um, but I remember thinking like I think it sets up sets it up for the viewer that he's like might be losing his his mojo a bit. Yeah, um, I don't care. The vat was a good idea though. The vat was, was legitimately a good I idea. Yeah, I think it was fucking cool. Yeah. I think if I saw it in a movie, I think that's fucking sweet. Yeah. Morty's being a spoiled little shit. Yeah. yeah, I thought he was just being a little dickhead too. Like I understand. I think it's a good idea, but you don't act like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the whole idea is the dynamic between them and. Morty is a little piece of shit. Well, he's like, tired just of like Rick is an asshole. Yeah. yeah. You know, so. He's tired of shit always going wrong, though. I mean, every time Rick tells him, everything's going to be okay, it's never okay. But Morty did fuck it up. Morty did fuck it up. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, honestly, just the creativity that goes into these things and then having like, to produce and come up with these, generate all these ideas. Yeah. I mean, I love yeah. that they spent an entire episode just on Rick teaching the fucking Morty. Well, it's just like, the, it's like a bit. And then there's the vac. <laughs> Yeah, like 40% of the episode was like where he met that girl and he falls in love. And there's like so many instances where I thought he was going to press a button. And he didn't. Yeah. Well, he wanted that. Yeah. The hardship, the relationship, everything he had, he wanted it and fucking and Jerry. Jerry didn't say it. one thing in his ah, episode. No, he didn't. But say he was anything. so pivotal. But he's so, he <laughs> fucked it up. I hate Jerry. Oh, God. I hate that man. Oh, Why would you think that's your remote if you've never seen that remote before? He's going to press the fucking button. I don't know. Would you what guys want a remote? No, uh, no, I think that was especially given the fact that it kills another. Well, not if, even if it's just a remote that does what uh, doesn't click. Um, I yeah, but like, 
I would yeah, love I think a remote. I would love it. Movies and TV shows have told me that's normally not a good idea. Right. Now, if in hindsight, if like one of my kids died, I could have prevented it with a remote, then I right. wish I would have had a remote. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that being said, for the most part, I don't think I want one. I want a remote. I would have the woman of my dreams, the job of my dreams, everything. Perfect. I wouldn't. Because I think if I had a remote and I went back to snag that woman that I thought got away, uh-huh. I think I'd have been faking it just to get her and going, taking steps to make sure I kept her that I wouldn't have done in the first place. But you can always still make the decision. would have been completely dishonest and you, not going to do it. You still always make the decision to leave her. I mean, you just say, oh, what's I the point? Going. Because <laughs> you got you got the button, that's why. Fuck like, that oh, yeah. God yeah, damn I, I, You guys said hindsight fucked up. Press the button. No, then you just say, hey, don't fuck up again like that. I guess I feel fuck like up another way. I, I guess I feel like you can get all those things anyways. If you want those things, you can get them. Yeah, I mean, that's sometimes true. it's harder, but I think I think it depends what you want, what you eventually discover about yourself, what you find out that you need through the course of time and experience. Yeah. Some things you think you want, you didn't really want, or you thought you needed them, I should say. Right. Yeah. You find out you didn't really need that them. That is true. That, that's true, but I, I guess what I'm saying is, like, for the, for the most part, a lot of those things, if you do want them, you can work hard and get them. Well, yeah, and that's one thing you've, you've told me before, is, hey, you know, if you want that job, or you want that pretty girl, you know, you, you gotta look the part. You gotta work out, you gotta be in shape. If you want the job, obviously, you have to work hard. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's... True, well, you, but you, most people don't want it as bad as they think they want it because they don't work for it. Pretty much. But then right. they end up, yeah, and, and that's what gets me about people, and myself included in some instances. I mean, you, you end up regretting it, but I'm also able to sit back and talk to myself and say, well, wait a minute, you did this because of this and that, mm-hmm. and uh, the reason you didn't go for it is because you honestly really didn't need it. There's been plenty of times that I've been in relationships, for instance, if you're talking about a pretty girl that you right, could have had, right. that it got fucked up because that's just how I am. And even if I got that girl, I'd have fucked it up somehow. So it's like, yeah, but you learn from that. Right. I know, and I learned that I don't need to be doing it. Right. Well, you, know, you can learn like whatever you did to fuck it up. Like, what what made you do that? Was it a childhood trauma? Was it like like a, a component? Was it was like an emotional moment at that moment in time that if you had to do it again, you would understand that you made the wrong well, some decision. People, some people can do that. Well, you can. No, not everybody can, and not everybody should. Not every, That's just how life is. Not everyone should think about. No, some people should just take a step back, like future Loki. He's like, hey, I'm the one that's fucking all this up. Take a step back. Yeah, and the only reason he was in that moment to save the day was because of the decision he made to step away from it. So that's the only reason he was there. Yeah, but that moment was about that, though. I mean, It was it. for the v- average viewer, but he would not have been there if he hadn't have come to that conclusion. And the only reason he can make that penultimate action to save the day was because he stepped away to save himself for that moment in time. Yeah, but he also left and he could have stayed away yeah I mean so there was a moment in the end when he chose to get back involved he did yeah. but it's one moment one millisecond yeah I guess what I'm saying is you can think about what you're doing is what I was saying you can think about the dis- something before you do it you can think about the decisions you made you can learn from them and then when yeah but my, my point though is that you're some people just aren't wired to have the things that they think they want because they've been told they should want them well I think that you should go for the things that you want I don't think you should do what anyone else thinks. Yeah, but except society tends to imbue you with those thoughts because you there's a level of envy to society that no one should be able should deny because some people have certain things that make them happy and you Mm -hmm. want to be happy too. So you see those things making them happy and you think it's going to make you happy. It's not. You got to know. I think you got to think about who you are and know yourself and what makes you happy. Well, here I am, Shane. (laughs) All right, that's the point I'm trying to make. But I've had conversations with you where you say you're not happy. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I know, but at the same time, there's a level of happiness that I'm not doing to achieve based on other people's happiness. So I got to find my own happiness. When I've been, not based and off that's what I've been that. saying. <laughs> I know, but it's not based off of the prescription that you prescribe. I'm not prescribing anything. Yeah, you do. You suggest things all the time, and I'm not saying you're completely wrong. I just think that you're. Sometimes I you say and I stuff, disagree on things that we're always going to disagree. on. Sometimes I say some <laughs> stuff, and you say, "Well, how's that apply to me?" And I'm thinking, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> well, then you should say that. Well, some of them are just talking. And then you'll be like over there, hey, what'd you say? And you'll walk over here. <laughs> That's not true. Tell me about me. <laughs> That's not. because usually where you and I, when we have these conversations, it's just you and me. No, sometimes I speak in generalities and you think like, he's talking about me, I know he is. I think that's true. <laughs> Probably to a point. I love that I am 
back and get to sit here for these fucking conversations. The no worst when you're here. That you two have. Normally we get along all right. I fucking love it. <laughs> well, I'm just saying fucking, if you make a mistake, you learn from it. And the next time exactly. something, something similar comes along. Don't drink and drive, folks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And don't see other women that are with other men. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you make it sound like actually you can never see a woman because of what you did with a woman with another man. Like, well, why don't you just see a woman that's not with a man? No, no I shouldn't. You think I should see no woman now? I should see no one for other reasons that is just the culmination of who I am, and it's okay. I'm not arguing. It just kind of falls into the. I'm conversation. not exactly arguing it. <laughs> it just falls into the conversation we're having. But you talk about people being wired. I think it's you being wired in a certain way. <laughs> you know, yeah, because like, most people are wired into they can accept that they will fall into the American dream. I don't know if it's just an American dream. I think it's no. I think you've it's, you've discussed people you know mm-hmm. wanting the American dream. Yeah, and they go for that the husband or the wife. Yeah, and the fenced yard, and the day job, and the routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and not everybody has to have that. No, you're right. They don't. True. But uh, what else we got? Moving on. I guess that means I win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> you, you win. You win. <laughs> We're going. No, I mean, I don't even know how we got down that damn rabbit hole, but uh, yeah. I mean, there's not much to say about that episode for me. It was just an enjoyable, good episode. Oh, the, the part uh, in the beginning where the, the gangsters are arguing <coughs> over the vat. And Morty pops up and like, God damn it, is yeah. it not? And he fucking yeah, yeah, shoots him. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's funny. They accidentally shot the other guy and ass kiss my ass. Yep. Eat my ass, bitch. Eat yeah. my ass. I'm acid proof. Yeah. Just like, when I think about the people writing these things, I think about, right. well, these are things I thought when I was like 14 or 15. And then like... They're somehow being able to hold on to that. Yeah. They hold on to that. Brilliant. They are brilliant. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are. This they, is a brilliant show. But then they have the articulation of like a... <clears throat> of like a, of like a, of like a, a like a of a trained writer, right? With yeah. like well, they this, probably have a, a team, yeah. That well, can say they can break down and distill that into a coherent story, yeah. To carry it on through one episode, but yeah. then regardless of that, they are the creative geniuses mm-hmm. behind the material. So they can say, "Hey, we want this, 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 and this." They all put it together, make this fantastic shit that we get to laugh at. When it when it comes to like brainstorming, like this explosion of like gags and creativity, like this show, like. And I might be wrong, but I think it does it better than anything I can remember right now. Yeah. At recent memory, for sure. Yeah, they do. I mean, yeah. BoJack's got a different level of dark humor. It does. Right. It's, it's a different show, and I like BoJack. I do, too. For sure. I, I don't want to compare them and, like, knock one or the other. Me either. This is, But this, like, when it comes to, like, explosive, like, gags and creativity yeah. and just, like, dude, it's so cool. It's it amazing is. how that, my... that guy got splashed. Sorry to interrupt. It was amazing how that guy got splashed by the fucking acid and automatically thought he was like impervious to, to acid. I don't know why it just made me think of like this world today, how like so easy it is like for people to get fooled by shit like on social media where they think that you know, I'm not going to give examples because I don't want to get political, but you know, certain things Well, they see certain, something on Facebook. Yeah, they, well, this is my point, it, yeah. Run. Like it's just like so easy, like you see a fucking meme that some fucking made in their basement while they're jacking off with fucking eating popcorn and they believe that it's a salty masturbation. Yeah. <laughs> and, they, and they believe, yeah, they believe this meme is is reality. You know, it's just I don't know how I got off that tangent, but it's just it's just crazy. Well, what it, you yeah. Rick said, you know, it sounds like I think guy had other things going on. Right. When right. that guy gets splashed with that shit, no. and all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, I'm I'm impervious to acid. Right. Eat yeah. my ass." <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Yeah. That escalated really quickly for that guy. For some reason that. Uh, and I don't know why the Easter egg was in there, but you mentioned TGRI, Ninja yeah, Turtles. The, the tube of ooze. Which is from yeah, Ninja Turtles so 2, Secret, Secret, Secret yeah. of Ooze. Right back there. Exactly. Yeah, that back there made us by Crusader. So, uh, and, but it just, I don't know why that was in there. It was good, though. So yeah. the comics was TCRI, and then the movie was TGRI. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. And just, yeah, the idea of having a remote, I would say, for the most part, probably not. I know you think it'd be good, but you might be in a situation like that. Well, the other or you might be in a situation. Bad. Or you might be in a situation like Click. Where I might have fucking Jerry, a, a Jerry in my life. That fuck it up. Fuck it all up. <laughs> a dog that steps on it. That's something you gotta take the batteries out if it has batteries every time you fucking set it down. Like, you don't. You're afraid to take the batteries out. Because that's it, what true. happens if you take the resets? If you take the batteries yeah. out or something, or it doesn't connect anymore? I imagine, like, it's disconnecting is, like, the same thing of it. Like it shuts down and reverts back to the previous reality. factory setting. So I guess what I'm wondering is when you when you click the button, like how big is the zone? Like you have to be in that 
Is, is now the whole universe and world, if you die, you just revert dude, back? Dude, it makes it sound like it just realigns <laughs> in some way. Dude, when Morty was hitting the button at Because the end, if they would have died in a car accident, mm -hmm. in a plane wreck, would he right. just revert it back, right? Well, well, if he hit the button. That's the thing, dude. You know when Morty was hitting the button and it kept reverting back to him getting sprayed by the girl? Yeah. It made me think of a video game when you fucking die at like the worst possible time, like a, a save point or something, and you just keep like glitching, like you just keep dying, like there's no way out, like it's just like you keep going back and you yeah, have, keep, you have the same, it's like a Zelda, yeah, you have no potions, yeah, and no fucking yeah. hearts, and oh, yeah. the same you and just keep <laughs> yeah. dying. Well, you got to be careful about your saves. You do that. <laughs> yeah. When I was young, I made some mistakes and. You learn. <laughs> yeah, you learn. Remember Psycho Mantis telling me that in Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. You're very careful, man. <laughs> Kicks his tires before he leaves. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I see the game somewhere. Yeah. You're right about uh, um, your per point on the radius of the button because something happened in that situation when he was hitting it and he kept getting sprayed where it just. The timing was off or whatever. Well, he, it, just, it was in his back pocket when he first got sprayed and he had sat on it. And hit oh, the so, so every time he got reality to oh. the starting point yeah. was right so where he got every sprayed. Every time he got sprayed again, oh, he keep trying to he hit didn't it, realize which that. is and like going back to it. It's so yeah. funny. Like that itself was just an idea. Before it became an idea, and this happened, and yeah. then you create an episode. It's like sometimes they're like, how do you know? How would he have the time to hit it? Like when he got hit by the car. I don't know. And and that, it, that, that's why I thought I was trying to think like if he gets killed, does it go back to his save point? Because that's why I thought made yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Like every other time, like Groundhog Day. Yeah, yeah but every other time he's hitting the button. Did you guys see the edge of tomorrow with Tom Cruise? Nope. No. I couldn't believe it. I try to avoid not, Tom, uh, uh, Tom, Tom Cruise files. I try to so. avoid Tom Cruise movies. Well, you're a fool. Uh, <laughs> that, that, him and Emily Blunt, that's one of the best movies I've seen that year. I, just, I don't have to see everything he does. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm like that with most actors I anymore. He's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. I just try to... I just heard it was really good. Well, he's a fantastic actor, and he produces good bodies of work. I yeah. just... You know, unless it's something, the idea is something that's extremely appealing to me. I usually don't go out of my way. Um, Plus, because I don't have streaming services anymore, so. Yeah. I don't got anything else. This was one of the most entertaining episodes I've seen. One so of my favorites. It, it, was, it was good and just, and it, it kind of talks about Rick's character. I don't think he likes being made fun of. Yeah. Know? Never make fun of me again. Very sensitive. Well, it's one of those things, yeah. Like, I, I always feel like, yeah, I mean, he can obviously dish it out, but he can't. Receive can't, it very can't well. Can't take it. Yeah. yeah, but you know that's fine. Just people like that. But no, it was it was just ah, this might be top five episodes. For me. This pickle Rick and I gotta come up with a list. But it was good. Yeah, we didn't sit down and write a list. Maybe when we finish. Yeah. Yes. And we have like a cap. We catch up. on the whole series. Yeah. And to say these are our top five. Well, our next uh -huh. episode I believe is the last one. We can pick like an episode per season. The this will be the top one for me so far for this one. Yeah. yeah. That's you're it. Sure, you sure it's not the Dragonheart episode? Yes. That's it. Thank you. You in particular. You at home with your beer or your apple pie or your Xanax or your meth. Thanks for stopping in. Like and subscribe if you like what you see here. Comment down below. Tell us what it is that's in your lap right now. It better not be your hand in a tub of jelly. So come on back <laughs> if, you ever, <laughs> if you ever want to try again. Because I told you once, you son of a bitch, you won't if you don't want to. What? <laughs> that was a good imp improvisation. <laughs>